Never have I ever gone to bed angry at my spouse. Never have I ever kept arguing when I know I'm wrong. Never have I ever found one of my spouse's friends attractive. <laughs> Taylor! What is up you guys? We are back with another YouTube video with our friends Taylor and So. What's up you guys? Yo, yo! Y'all, we are going to be doing some fun challenges today. Our challenge today, we are sitting down and these guys don't really know all the questions, but I went ahead, I wrote a bunch of questions down on my phone, and today we are playing Extreme Never Have I Ever Married Couples Edition. Woo! Extreme must mean it's pretty extreme. deep. It's pretty deep. It's yeah. And it also, like, we're gonna learn things about one another that we probably don't know. <laughs> Y'all just gotta watch the whole video because, man, this is about to be so fun. This is about to be so fun, but. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get right. it. All right. All right. Question number one. Here we go. Never have I ever clogged the toilet and blamed it on someone else. Three, two, one. So Taylor, so, Taylor, I said I have. I said I have. Oh, but wait, you, yeah. what? I did it one time. I have not. She clogged the toilet all the no, time. No, I don't. Yo, he flushes. Leaves it like where the toilet paper <laughs> stuck, yeah. And I don't notice it, and so I go to the no, bathroom. No. I just go like <laughs> the other I, day. I go number one, right? <laughs> and I flush, and I'm like, well, obviously I didn't just yeah. clog the toilet. That thing was clogged to no. the moon. You probably, <laughs> you probably clogged the city Wait, pipes. Up. I said I have not. I, have I had. I've never. Have. I've never. Okay. I've clogged the toilet before, but I've never blamed someone else. No way. I don't believe that, dude. There's so many times as a kid. I clogged the toilet so bad, and my mom would ask, I blame it on my brother. Dude, I do it. I did it yesterday. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, as a kid, I'm like, shoot, I'm doing it like at least once a week. <laughs> All right, moving right along before things get too intense. All right, never have I ever worn dirty clothes three days in a row. Three, two, one. Have. Have. Okay, oh, okay. I was gonna say, if you haven't. I'd, I'd like, say I wore socks. Yeah, I've probably worn like some other worst, things. That's like the worst. That's a nasty thing to wear. I just know I probably have. Like, if it was a really comfy, like, sweater yeah. or something. Yeah, like, like pants. Or like pajamas. Yeah. 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 Yep. Totally. Yeah. Two, three days is. An, I'd say two days. Three days is, like, next level. Dude, okay, if I'm wearing, like, a pair of pants, Violet. like, and I just like those pants, I'll, like. Because you don't feel like doing laundry. No, I'll school. just wear them three days. Like, but it's a rare occurrence. And two, it's like I wore them for like three hours, took them off, and threw them on the next day. Anyways, okay. <laughs> Question number three. Never have I ever gone more than three days without showering. Three, two. two. <laughs> no way. Jacob, ew. There is definitely a time as a child where I went three days without showering. That's Julia said. I couldn't. I'd get in trouble. There's, I yeah. definitely, y'all, I go three days without washing my hair probably every week, but showering, I'm a, I'm a rinser. I like to rinse a lot. Same. I'm the only and one who... I have to wash my hair at least once a day, so if knows this, like, it's yeah. happening. So. But you think? Really? But Dude, I just sound so I just sound gross. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, everyone's okay. watching this. Like, literally, yeah. I know, literally. it has been probably since I was like a six or seven. Like, you just I don't know. Like, then maybe it wasn't like exactly three days, but there's definitely times where I've like gone a couple days without showering. We, we are that. establishing that apparently I am disgusting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, question number four. Never have I ever blamed my spouse for something I know they didn't do, but I actually did. Three, two, one. <laughs> I why have we all done oh, Alright, tell me <laughs> It was probably like something I didn't want to admit to and apologize for. Something like, I should have apologized for, but I'm like, I'm being like stubborn, I don't want to apologize, so I'm like mm. telling you it's your fault. Mm. But I'm like, it's really my fault. I've never, I, I feel like I've never like actually like just straight up blamed her just cause. Like, it's always a joking blame. Just yeah. to be funny. Right, 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 right. Alright, moving on to the next question. Never have I ever blamed myself. Never have I ever kept arguing when I know I'm wrong. <gasps> Three, two, one. Jacob! What? Oh, oh, sorry, wrong one, wrong yeah. one, wrong one. <laughs> I was about to be like, ain't no way. Yeah. I mean, as a kid, I grew up doing that. Probably. Problem is, I'm 
typically right. Right. So it's like, never. Dude. There it is. These but it girls. definitely happened probably once. Nah. Right? Yeah. Dude. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest. There's times where I've straight up been in like an argument or like a deep, let's call it a deep discussion. Genuinely thinking like I am right. And then she proves me wrong and I just keep playing like yep. I'm not yep. right still. Yeah. You just get aggravated. That's not a good thing. No, like, but when it gets to that point, it's joking because every time that happens between us. No, but us, it's joking to you, but then I get bad. No, but every time that happens, with, like yesterday, it happened between us. She's like, Julia, like, she was like, oh, you didn't do this because, like, you were doing something else. And I was like, no, I didn't. And then I thought about it. I was like, oh, wait, yeah, that's why I didn't do this. No, this is what happened. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, you, like, he was like, what was I doing? And I, I put like, off you were work. Doing this. And he was like, no, I wasn't. He was like, I, was, I did that on Friday night. Not Saturday night, and I was like, yeah, exactly, because you, like, Friday night was the night before it needed to be done, and that was the day you didn't do it. You didn't and do then it I go, oh. Then you just walked out. All you have to do is say I'm right. There's music to my ears. She was right, yeah. Music so. to my ears. Yeah. All right, you guys, this is question number six, and the question is, never have I ever gone to bed angry at my spouse. Three, two, one. You have it? No, I haven't. Like genuinely, if I'm actually upset about something, I will resolve it, even if it's just with myself. Yeah. Before I go to bed. What? See, that's the problem. Is because he's like, I gotta go to bed. Like he's one of those people who can like compartmentalize. Yeah. If I'm like upset and he's, I'm going to bed. That makes me even more mad. And then I <laughs> pout. And then I go to bed. Yeah. Mad. And so. And they always say like, oh, yeah. they always give advice like you'll never go to sleep angry. And I try to live by that, but sometimes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> The, the argument starts too late at night and there's no time. Yeah, <laughs> if the argument starts when you're in bed, you're like, like falling asleep. No so it's time like, to right, literally. It's like we gotta sleep on this. And, and talk sometimes in the morning. we just wake up and it's fine because the argument was so silly. It wasn't even yeah. like a, yep. Yeah. You just need a cool down period yeah. sometimes. I think like we've definitely done that, but like I go to bed like okay with like resolving it. Well, so God, I feel you're like, okay. No, no, I go to bed like resolving it on my end, and so like. And like I think I've resolved it on her end, but like in her mind I actually haven't. So yeah, she I've never sense. gone to bed angry at her. In your marriage or in your whole dating? Well, we've never really. Oh. Um, oh, like I guess you mean to bed. Yeah, together. Yeah, to I meant like okay. together. Okay. But all right, moving right along. Funny. Question number seven: Never have I ever gotten a speeding ticket. Three, two, one. Not. Hey, let's go! Hey. Pulled over 13 times. 13? <laughs> I've only gotten two speeding tickets, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I'm, I'm one for one, and it was, I was, it was so sad. That was like the first time I've ever cried that hard in my whole Dude, life. Dude, she called me. She's just bawling. Oh, I can't pull over. That's so funny. <laughs> it was. It was. Funny. I never knew why people cried when they got pulled over. <laughs> I, I didn't either, and then it just hit me, and I was thought like I, I, was, I, was, I was living on my own and I thought I was gonna get in trouble I was like my mom is my mom and dad are gonna be so mad at me and I'm like crying and I'm literally out An on adult. my own living by myself like there's no big deal no one no one's gonna be mad at me like it's just a speeding ticket but it was yeah it was, it was that is so I was, I was sad. man I can't believe 13 times that's crazy alrighty moving right along question number eight this one is a little deep never have I ever found one of my spouse's friends attractive three Two, one. Whoa. <laughs> Let me explain. Whoa. Whoa. Let me explain. Whoa. Let me explain. Okay. I know Taylor's lying. <laughs> okay. Listen. What? <laughs> listen, I'm not saying it was while we were, while we've been together. We okay. Were, listen, we were in the same friend group before we started dating, long before. Okay. He was in another relationship, and I happened to have, like, a thing with one of his friends. And so, yeah, I, I would be lying if I said I never found any of his friends attractive before this. Valid. But not while we've been dating. No, but not since we've been okay. together. Okay, you're safe then. But, yeah. Okay. So yeah. I kind of want to address, like, what's going on over here. I just... So, I'm just, just too scared. <laughs> <laughs> I have not. Ever. <laughs> ever. Ever. Mm -mm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, moving along to question number nine. Never have I ever complimented my significant other and not meant it. Three, two, one. Okay. We're so sweet. We're so nice. Aww. You little angel. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Bro, 
Rob's like sappy moment. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sorry that. if that made you tear up, guys. <laughs> Y'all, that was just like such a special moment. Hey, sweet moment. at least we know like we're actually complimenting. I just another. wouldn't necessarily. I just I wouldn't, wouldn't say, say anything. The comment, yeah. yeah, if I didn't yeah. think so. I just wouldn't say anything. Yeah. Or I would be honest. I feel like. All right, guys. Moving along to question number ten. Never have I ever eaten my spouse's food that they cooked me and said that I liked it even when I did it. I didn't know what Jacob was gonna say. Three, I heard two, up. one. You're so rude. I do so much for you. <sighs> I know, and I say I like it because I want you to feel good. Then I'm gonna keep cooking it bad if you don't like it's it. It's out of love, Jacob. It is out of love. I would rather know. Even though I, it, I, I feel like know. I would tell him. You know me. Even Maybe though it so wasn't much. the best. Which I would one be are you like, talking this about? This ain't good. The shrimp broccoli meal. You told meal. me you didn't like it. Well, I told you at Multiple. first I did like it. And then I kept eating See, it, and I was like, maybe I don't this like is, it. Jacob, you're just exposing yourself in this video. <laughs> no, I'm not, because I went in and resolved it. And then I was like, actually, that wasn't very good. I can but I said it in a nicer way. It wasn't my best meal. I will say that. Or the cauliflower and gnocchi. Remember when I made that? That was mm -hmm. disgusting. Yeah. It was, it was bad. It was like, anyway. What about you? What's something that you cook? That they said, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't cook, but Taylor straight up says, I don't like this. <laughs> I, I did make I that dip the other day, like, and you were like, like to be honest, don't like this. So you would straight up be like, so if this is terrible, yes. I'd be like, this, <laughs> That's why I don't cook for you. I'd, I'd be like, like, are you trying to go it. to Sonic right now? Or because uh, if no. not, I'm good. So are so which one's worse then? Is it man, this sucks or is it? Is oh, this is well that then she knows not to cook it again. I don't, I don't cook! <laughs> that's, well, that's brutal though. Point. That's brutal. I'm like, don't, like, brutal. don't ever that's ask me I for that. I don't ever ask to cook that again because I don't want it. All right, we got a couple more questions, y'all. If you guys are here and you guys are enjoying this, comment your favorite part down below so far. And maybe comment down some questions you might want us to answer next time around if this video gets 2,000 likes. Here we go. Question number 11. Never have I ever peed my pants as an adult. Three, two, one. What? What? Dude, like it's like Dude. a weekly thing. Yeah. It's weekly. It happens all the time. Yeah. Y'all pee, y'all's pee. Y'all yeah. oh, yeah. just can't hold it in. Yeah. No. What? Just, yeah. It comes out. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> I know you laugh super hard and you do it sometimes. Sometimes you just. Yeah. It's what? Just, it's I a, laugh. I didn't know that. Yeah. Is that like a thing? I have a lot of problems. I grew up peeing the bed as a kid. Every night of my life, I ended up wearing diapers at one point because I couldn't stop peeing the bed. It was oh, a problem. No. She literally peed it last night. Oh my gosh, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely as a kid, I like straight up like dreamed that I was and I actually was, but not yeah, as an see, adult. Yeah, not as an adult. As well. oh, I didn't know that's a thing. I'll be wide awake and do it. <laughs> All right, well, more power to you, I guess. I don't know. All right, guys, we are going to end off here with our final question. And the question is, never have I ever hung out with my spouse's parents and had more fun with them than I had with my spouse. <gasps> oh, three, know what two, one. <gasps> oh, oh! This is not, this oh, isn't about whoa. his parents. Oh, when have I hung out oh. with your parents? When have I sat here and hung out guys, with your parents? Guys, this is awkward. No, I was saying this. I had the most fun in my life when I hang out with Taylor, so it would be really hard to top my time Aww. with Taylor. And I've never really sat there and like done like a hangout activity. Yeah, it's like parents. a group activity. If I if I was alone with his parents, we were probably just sitting there and like having a slight conversation. I've never done like a hangout activity with your mom or your yeah. your parents. But Taylor like hangs out with my dad all the time. <coughs> we hunt and fish and do all that, so it's like yeah, you know, my, my dad and her dad and me, and so That's fun. a lot of quality time there. Yeah. So I love it. That would be sometimes more fun than like going shopping. Yeah, there's definitely been times where like <laughs> me and shopping. <laughs> you guys love shopping and you know <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. See, retail <laughs> therapy isn't in our dictionary. No. It's in mine. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, at Target or something. It's therapy. It's cheaper than therapy. <laughs> oh. Right? It is. That's why I tell Taylor. Not with that much you spend. <laughs> 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 There's definitely times where I've been like grilling with your dad or shooting with your dad and I'm just like having a, a really good time. Yeah. Listen, you act like that's all we do. No, right. but it's a it, lot. It basically is. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's true. When you think about it. I want to chill and watch a movie. That's true. I like you don't movies. like watching movies. You always say, you always say, oh, that's not quality time because we don't get to talk to one another. Movies are my favorite. That doesn't mean it's not fun. It's just not quality time. I expect you to talk to me after. 
Oh, my quality time people understand that in the chat. I don't even know what my love language are. Yeah. You don't know? No, not really. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. We had a blast. You guys have fun? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. We got a little deep there and learned some new things about one another, but uh, it was it was a good time. So, oh, yeah. Blast. Anyways, you guys, if you guys have not subscribed to Taylor and Soap's page, go ahead and subscribe to them. I'm going to leave their page right here. And uh, you guys, again, let us know in the comments if you guys want us to do another video with them here soon and get this video to 2,000 likes if you want a part two of Never Have I Ever with Taylor and Soap. But you guys, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, yeah. Thanks yes. for awesome. having us. So yes. Fun. Let's go. We love you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Bye.